this is code.org, and this is a list that I want to add to. And that's confusing. Right now, word list, apple, bear, car, dog. Let's hit run and show you what I mean. Ta-da! But I want the user, which is me right now, to be able to write stuff, add stuff. Yeah, no. I'm going to put frog. Frogs are cool. And let's add it. And quapa. And there is our frog. Lists are confusing. They're not magic. Let's dive in. So, just to show you what I have, I have a list. Apple, bear, car, dog. I named it. Variable name is word list. I'm creative. And I got one function here, join print list. If I click the blue button, it smacks it out on the screen all mushed up. Great. But how do I add to this? What if I wanted to type something here and add to the list? Let's make that happen. First off, I have my red button. That's what we're going to use for this. And so I'm going to go ahead. I already made this function add item to list. I'm real creative with names. I just need to make sure I run it here. Add item to list. All right. So I want to throw something new on my list. Actually, this might be one of the easier things to do once you wrap your head around it. <laughs> Nothing in code is too easy. All right. So add item to list right here. I can go ahead and do a append for that. Now, right now, I just have F and I have the word list. This is going to be a problem. I have no variable named list. I have a variable named word list. So, pow, right? And I'm going to write Fred. Let's see if it works. Run. And red button makes this run. Pow. Wait, I can't see anything. Did it work? Pow. I'm not seeing anything. I got it right. Boom. Oh, look. I did add Fred twice. All right, so great. If you want to add Fred to your list, you are good to go. This is how you do it. Now, if you want something a bit different, probably something the user enters, we got to grab that stuff. So when the user clicks the red button, what happens? The computer says, smack, red button, click, run, add to list. Let's add to list. Oh, here it is, smack. Let me run the code inside here. Okay, we need to first, though, Get what the user put here. Okay. So, let's see. UI, user interface. I bet it's in the here because, you know, this seems like the interface the user is interacting with. Now, let's get the text, if you will. Right? Because what do we want to do? Literally, that. We want to get the text. I'm going to make sure to use a variable because I'm not sure we could be doing more of this later. And I'm going to just say, I don't know, user text. Cool. And now UI controls, get the text, blah, blah. And get the text of ID, not so much. User text is what I named it. If you can't see that, you need to reset, and you'll be able to see. Your text input. Perfect. Now what do I want to pin? I'm not going to do Fred anymore. I'm going to do user text all right boom red blue wait a minute it didn't do anything hello Ooh, that's bad. hello oh if you want to see it first there it is right now let's that hit red oh yo red again but uh we are adding to a list. Now, if you want to print it out numbered or in another fancy way, make sure to check out my how to print a list video. If you want to remove something, well, that, that being said, hopefully you got something added to your list. You could even simplify this if you don't want an outside function. We could all do it contained within one thing. Maybe you want to get super fancy and you want to do it all within a single. This isn't usually best practice, but it can be pretty simple if you want it. Ta ha. And I'm going to undo the mushifying it, and I'll go ahead and throw this example in the description so you can mess around with it. I hope you build something cool.